how's it going? Oh man, it's been a day. I have been doing videos for you guys like it's no tomorrow. All right, so in this video, what am I talking about? I am going to be talking about uh, skincare products that I found that actually do not contain retinol in it. Yeah, shocker, right? If you look and you go to any uh, store or anything like that, um, we are bombarded, bombarded uh, with retinol and retin-A products, but mostly retinol and all this other stuff, right? So basically what am I talking about? I'm talking about vitamin A. Uh, due to a condition that I've got that I was just diagnosed with, which is PBC, which is primary biliary cholangitis, uh, the, I have an autoimmune uh, condition that affects my liver. One of the things you cannot use when you have a liver issue is vitamin A. I actually asked my doctor this. That was the first question I asked. I said, you know, I use uh, Retin-A, um, I have products with retinol in it. What do you think about that? And guess what he said? He said, I would prefer if you did not use retinol products anywhere on your body because of your liver condition. Okay, let me repeat that. Do not use retinol products on your body or skin or face because of liver issues, all right? And I can't be the only one that has this issue. If you have autoimmune issues, if you have medical issues, one of the things that is never discussed, and you can Google this, go ahead and Google this because it's all over, you know, that um, that Retin-A is a problem. And I've done a video on that, on, you know, Retin-A being a problem for uh, liver and uh, it's a toxin and it cannot be, um, how do you call it, uh, uh, di not digested, but you know, work through uh, with your liver. So I have that video, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and, you know, link it below if I can find it. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Uh, but what I wanted to get to on this video is actually show you guys some alternatives that you can use, okay, for, oh, let me get my camera back here, for uh, your skin. You don't have to give up, you know, not taking care of your skin. And there are plenty of alternatives out there uh, that are maybe the unsung heroes or are swept under the rug because again, marketing is marketing. And, uh, if it's tried and true and if it sells and if the buzzword sells, then every single manufacturer will jump on that bandwagon being the retinol bandwagon and manufacture products that contain retinol to some degree in it, whether it's, it's a, it's a high strong amount or a long or a low amount. It doesn't really matter. They're on that bandwagon. All right. So <clears throat> there are some legitimately very good skincare products out there that do not contain retinol, but contain other, you know, good active ingredients. So these are the, I've got three here plus two oils. So I'll count them as five things that I have been using now that I can no longer use Retin-A or Retin-All products, okay? If you're in the same boat as me, please pay attention and take notes uh, so you can go ahead and, uh, you know, look at some of these products. I am not affiliated with any of these products. I am not sponsored by any of these products. Now, I will try to find them maybe up on Amazon if they have it, and I will put a link to, um, to the product if I find it for your convenience on Amazon. I might get a couple of pennies if you actually click on it and buy it because it's an affiliate link in that way, you know, but it does support my channel, but I'm not, you know, advocating these specific ones. If you find anything in your local uh, stores and um, the three that I'm talking about, I found at Target. So if you just wanna uh, drive over to Target and go ahead and uh, find them, on the shelves, that's great, or order them online from Target, that's great too. Uh, but uh, I will go ahead and try to find um, these type of links for you on Amazon if that's the only place you can get it. You know, if you don't have a local tar Target 
um, in your in your area or you know you're in another country and, and don't have a target okay uh, so with that said let me go to the first one and I've got them all in boxes so I'm gonna just do the box and then I've got the top open so I don't have to fiddle with it and open it you know on camera and look like a nerd all right so the first one here is called uh, fee for it fervor fervor yeah fervor that is the the company and uh this is called fermented collagen serum so collagen is okay collagen is something that you can keep in your system uh collagen will not do anything negative to your liver that i know of um you know you can do your own research and and see but uh my doctor said collagen is fine it's a natural source you know and, and you can get it in uh you know bone broth and you have collagen pills this just happens to go on your skin so this is fermented collagen it's got two times more collagen uh, than any other product uh, I again I, I just saw it at Target and I'll I'll, I'll put some uh, pictures up here you know if I find them uh, on how when I was going through Target and looking for all this this is uh, really pretty it's kind of like it's bluish and it's it's got some oil or something on the bottom and something on the top as you can see and then you have to shake it up which I'm gonna do right now and then you'll see it'll get all kind of cloudy and all mixed in together you see and it comes in a pipette and it's very watery so I'm not gonna uh, put this over my keyboard or anything I'm just kind of showing you guys how it looks like there and you basically put a few drops in your hand and then you put it on your cleansed skin and it's supposed to soak into your skin it does soak in right away it's just it doesn't leave any film or anything like that uh, I you know I can't remember prices again I will I'll, I'll go up online and um, you know I'll put prices over here as I'm talking about them so you guys get an idea uh, they weren't cheap cheap but they weren't really expensive uh, you know just kind of middle of the road whatever skincare product is and um, it just says fermented with fermented collagen shake to activate use two to three drops gently massage into clean uh, face and neck use morning and evening uh, to revitalize and restore perfectly uh, perfect layered before your moisturizer or on its own I, I predominantly use this in the morning after I cleanse and before um, you know, I'm going about my day. I would put it underneath my sunscreen. You know, I give it time, of course, to get into my skin. But I've noticed uh, it really does plump up my skin. I feel uh, uh, that it does something to my skin. I don't feel like a, a prune, uh, you know, basically uh, for not using retinol or anything like that. Okay, the next one is, uh, the next two is from the same company. It's called naturium i i'm i'm gonna pronounce it as naturium like nature um i'll put it down here you know me with my pronunciation forget about it forget about it forget about it okay multi-peptide eye cream this is a multi-peptide blend plus squalene and hyaluronic acid uh it hydrates brightens and smooths it 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 does what it says it's really dang good here is the uh, the box on it sorry for all the sheen on it but it's like a silvery box there you go and you see it says nat naturium naturium and it's a small tube there you go and uh, it standard eye cream very very uh, small opening there as you can see and then you squeeze a little on your ring finger is how I like to do it. Just put it on your ring finger. A dab will do it. Make sure you warm it up by doing this on your ring finger and getting it uh, warmed up. And then one dab will go good for both under eye, you know, for both areas. Just, just must pat it in, pat it in gently. I know some people poo-poo eye cream. I've heard all the stories about eye cream. I grew up with good eye cream, so I'm going to continue to use eye cream. Uh, you do you, boo. Uh, if you don't want to do eye cream, that's great. Uh, but um, I, I like it. I don't think it's uh, an extravagant uh, expenditure. 
um, you know, and there are times where I'm doing different things, like I'll use um, a lighter moisturizer or um, a different type of oil on my skin. And so I use the oil on my skin, on my, you know, on my face, but I, but I concentrate the eye cream on under my eye. Again, it works for me. You know, if, if you don't want to spend the extra money for that, that's fine. But I wanted you guys to know about it. Uh, it's just got a multitude of peptides in it. And it says to use, you know, using ring finger, gently tap, small amount around eye area, wear SPF during the day, patch test prior to use as advice. Uh, it doesn't have any, you know, obviously retinol in it, but I would, you know, take their advice and put some, I mean, I'd put some sweet on whatever, you know, that's, that's a standard. I don't even think they should be even saying to put sunscreen on afterwards because, I mean, you know, you should know by now to put sunscreen on last after you do all of your, um, all of your skincare products if you're going out during the day. Um, but visually smooths fine lines and wrinkles is what it says. Uh, it's good for dark circles. Um, I'm trying to see. It, it, it has chenensis seed oil trying to see what else it ha has here a bunch of peptides five and seven and one all these different peptides um some kind of selena extract uh what else um a bunch of other stuff mostly peptides and lactate stuff and things like that i mean it's got a bunch of stuff in it but i really like it i i found it useful so I'm going to keep up with that, okay? All right, moving on, the next Naturium product here is a plant ceramide. So this is the Rich Moisture Cream. This is the one I use at night now. This has become my go-to night cream. Uh, instead of any of the, um, what was it, L'Oreal's and the, and the Lift and Firm L'Oreal and the Retinol L'Oreal and all the other stuff that they have uh you know this this is now my go-to comes in a jar like this i hope this is coming in you know i hope this is there it goes okay it just takes a while for it to kind of like register there you go it's just kind of trying to find it there we go uh and this one is just your standard white thicker cream it is extremely thick, as you can see, and it just, it doesn't go anywhere or spill or anything like that. It just stays where you put it. And again, you just put a, a small amount uh, on your fingertips, warm it up, and then massage it in, uh, pat it all over your face at night. That is what I do. And that's the last thing I do before and I then go to bed. I've now got two have... oils. Uh, one is the 100% plant-derived squalene oil and it's by the ordinary and i i just absolutely adore squalene oil it 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 is a light textured oil there it is you can see it drip 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 uh you only need a couple of drops uh you just put it in you can i can use this at day or night i use it intermittently uh however I need to. If I feel like doing oil that night, I'll do oil. I, I can layer it. I can actually do my squalene first, uh, put that on, and then put the put that the other cream on there on top of it. So very good, you know, a excellent, excellent um, oil. And I just love it. This little pipette's not going straight up. There we go. There. Okay. Now the last one I've got here uh, that I've used forever and I just I like the smell of it I actually love the smell of it it's it's one of my nighttime oils as well because it is a, a a thicker oil it's got a whole multitude of oils it's actually called face oil it's by badger and sea buck sea buck horn face oil but I'll read you the ingredients on the type of oils that are in here. It's just got a great, great smell to it. I love this, um, whatever this blend is, I love it. I think I got this at like Sprouts. Um, 
probably available at Whole Foods and Sprouts. And let me turn on my little lamp so I can read this to you guys. Uh, again, it's got jojoba seed oil. It's got uh, babab seed, apricot kernel, uh, pomegranate seed oil, uh, sea buckthorn, which is the main one, which is a fruit extract. Uh, it does have a little lavender flower oil in it. So if, uh, if you are a little bit uh, sensitive for lavender because of the scent, um, I would watch out for that. It's also got some orange peel oil. Again, that might be a little bit sensitive for your skin, so watch out for that one. It's never harmed me, so I'm going to be okay with that. Uh, it's got some sunflower vitamin E. Uh, it's got geranium flower oil. It's got some rosehip fruit extract. I love rosehip. Anything with rosehip, like rosehip water, rosehip oil in it, love it for my skin. Absolutely adore it. That is old country um, you know, Hungarian, um, secret, secret beauty, uh, recipe, you know, for, for my ancestors going way, way back, rosehip, rosehip for anything and everything, seriously. Um, flower, let's see, what else? Uh, rosehip, fruit extract, organic essential oils, and that's it and uh, certified organic. So this is certified organic too. And like I said, I've had it, um, I've used it all the time and absolutely adore this. I will not stay without this, uh, this brand, will not say. You know, what brand is it? Does it say what brand? Oh, Badger. Yeah, I told you it was Badger. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got the five done. This is what I'm currently using. Again, if you, uh, do not want to use retinol uh, for whatever reason, health, medical reasons or whatever, or if you found it really harsh and, you know, would like to take a break from it, uh, go ahead and pick these up. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way. I'm not endorsing them. You know, like I said, I, I have no affiliation or branding with any of these people. They don't know little old Maria on YouTube, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not becoming a millionaire because of this. Okay, guys, just wanted you to know that. Um, yeah, so just, you know, try one of these. Let me know how you like it. Leave comments below. Uh, let me know if you use any other type of oils or non-retinol products that you guys really, really like. I would love to hear from you. I'm open to all kinds of tips and tricks right now. So if you have anything else that you would like to um, tell me about, that I should uh, maybe try on my skin. I'm, you know, I'm willing to go out and get a bottle and try it. That's no problem for me. I mean, unless it's like a hundred dollars or, or whatever, you know, crazy, crazy ass prices. I won't do that. But you know, within reason, if it's something like at a local, you know, uh, drugstore or whatever that you that you found very helpful, um, or a organic ingredient that you found very helpful by all means let me know so that i can go ahead and we can all share in uh in all of this uh information okay anyway guys please if you uh like this video give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and um uh support it and smash that like button and smash that uh, subscribe button because i really i'm noticing some really good movement on my subscriptions um you know lately so i'm really uh happy about that and uh, I hope that you guys share this with among your friends and everybody that, you know, would like to know about these types of uh, skincare products. Um, and that's it. I love you guys very much. And uh, I hope you're doing, doing well and stay out of the heat. And, you know, fall's coming up. I can't, I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, hopefully the holidays will be really great for everybody. Okay. I love you guys. Keep well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.